What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another vlog. My name is Tango and this is Alex. What's good guys? Take it over Alex. In today's video, we're gonna be showing you guys how to transition from dark tones to light tones. Is that right? What we're trying to say is <laughs> smooth transitions of dark to light, like gradient. How to do gradients of black and gray. Why is this important? When you're smooth, it just looks easier in the eyes. You want it to be smooth. You fade it out smooth and you start another segment and you smooth it out and the whole sleeve just looks smooth. Smooth shading is important. You're not gonna be smooth your first couple tries. You get smooth over time from understanding your hand speed, the depth, and... How to whip it? Yeah, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to whip it today. Also, we wanna give a shout out to these three comments right here. Thank you guys for leaving the positive comments. It really keeps us going. So if you guys wanna be featured on the next video, drop a comment down below. The cool thing is we recently got monetized. We finally reached our watch hours. It's been a journey. Almost a year. It's been a journey. We finally reached it. This is just the beginning, man. We're gonna be switching over shortly into a little bit more drawing videos since the tattoo side, we kind of covered it already. And I got a lot of outdoor stuff I've been setting up. We're gonna move into maybe some cooking videos, Stay outdoors, tuned for all it's that gonna be stuff. crazy, it's gonna be crazy. Lots of new toys. So today we're using the Bishop Power Wand and this is the Packer. This is the Packer. And we're also going to be using a 15 mag. Flat? A flat. Flat. Flat shader. And then I'm gonna use a seven liner to outline the box. In terms of the ink setup, we have one drop, then it goes to two, three, four, six, and then a quarter, and then a half, and then full. So anytime Tango references a four drop, it's the one that literally has four drops in it, and the rest is distilled water. So if you were to look at my ink cap setup, the first three cup, one, two, and three, is a one drop, two drop, three drop. Those are my light tones. And then if you look at the very end of it, it's my solid black, half cap, and a quarter cap. And those are my dark tones. My mid tones are the caps right in the middle. So dark, medium, and light. So when you're tattooing, you you're about to tattoo something light, you only use these three tones. If you tattoo something that's gonna need to be dark, you use these three tones. And the middle tones are like the medium tones where you need to do certain things, so. Let's make some boxes. Sheen looks good, feels good. The gloves feel slippery, maybe because we're little. touching stuff. Uh, if the gloves ever feel slippery in your hands and when you hold your machine and it feels a little bit slippery, just change out your gloves, get a new pair of gloves. Sometimes you're setting up and all that stuff, you get like moistures on it and whatever you did, maybe Vaseline's all over it. Just switch out gloves because you want a good grip on your machine. Throw the gloves in the air, boom, gloves are on. <laughs> see, now that I hold the machine, it feels good. My hands are not, see, earlier slippery. Now you want a little grip. You want, you want grip. We're also using a new skin today. This one was provided by Lauren. So shout out to Lauren. I don't know what this one's called, but I'll find out and everything will be linked down below in the description. I never used this skin before, so let's give it a shot. It, it's a little bit thicker than our last skin. Feels good, but let's see how it reacts. I'm gonna start off by just drawing a square. Oh, this skin is soft. Wow, this skin feels <laughs> good. This almost feels like skin. Like real skin. Yeah, it's crazy. It has like a nice, I don't know, when the needle goes in, it feels just like a nice, smooth skin. Feels good. Oh, look at that. Oh, and it wipes off. No, Hell yeah. I used alcohol this time because we don't have oh. oil. We've got recommended, what is it, baby oil, uh, coconut oil and, and Vaseline. Vaseline. Now that I have the box drawn out, let's switch to the 15 mag. 15 mag, 15 needles. I'm gonna start off with solid black. I would say about two millimeter. Okay. Maybe a little bit more, two and a half millimeter. Start off with solid black. 
I have to go dark to light. All right, let's start off with black. Hit the corner, wow, the shade's good. Yo, this skin is good. See how I'm shading black right now? I'm pretty much, look at that, tight rotations. I'm just making, I'm riding that back border line right here. See, look at that. To start off anything, if there is a line, right? Like say example right there, you wanna start off by like right here and slowly working that line, bolding that line up, bolding it, bolding it. And once that line is bolted, is when you can start fading up. Okay, that was just an example, but look at that. So now that I got this all solid and nice, I can work up a little higher. When you pack dark tones, don't be in a rush to just fade it already. Just work it, pack, pack that tone in. See right now, I'm still making it fairly dark. I want it to be dark at the bottom because we're doing a gradient, dark to light. I'm still fading it. It looks good so far. But look at the way I faded. See, I'm just kind of pushing up. So if I slowed it down, it looked like this. See that? You see how it... Look at the front part of it. Look at that. Just me going... Look at... My, if I was to slow my hand down, look, it goes like this. And I'm just going over to the right, slowly feeling it. Look at this. Right? And if I was to really go back to shape normal, then it looked like this. Because I'm just going faster. But then if I really slow it down, it looks like that. That's me packing black, okay? And then when you get to the corner, turn your mag to the right a little bit. Use that, that edge to cut that needle. Look at that. Solid black. See right here, it has a little bit light spot. Come back, use the corner, and touch it up. Yo, this skin is good. I like it. Okay, I'm about a third of the way up. I think it's time to start fading. All right, so I'm happy with how I use solid black. These are my mid-tones now, right? This is my dark tone. I need to go to a mid-tone, so I have to jump tones. So first things first, you have ready solid black inside of here. Just look, put in the water, and look at that. All that shoots out. See that? takes a second. See, it's still going out. Shake it a little bit, and now you know your needle is clean. Just give it a little tap. Let's go to the quarter cap. All right, now that the quarter cap is dipped, you don't want to start shading up here higher. You want to start maybe a third of the way back, right? Look, all this is shaded, but there's some spots. You want to go up, up maybe a quarter inch back and start fading that area, smooth that area out for the next transition. So I'm about to start fading it softer. So what I'm gonna show you guys how to fade, look at the needle. I'm gonna have it kinda at an angle and this touch and I'm go like that. See that? How just when this side hits is darker and then when you kinda like angle it up, it automatically gives you a fade. See that? What I'm doing is look, small tight ones and look. I'm basically just going like this. If I slowed it down, I'm going like that. And it autom automatically fades my seven. So right now, look, go back a little bit. And now I'm fading it, see? I'm kind of just scratching it up. You want your needle to go up, up. See? But still at this, not straight up, kind of like a little tight oval. But don't press down. So solid black, you wanna work it a little tighter like this, okay? Look at that. But when you're fading, you wanna work a little bit softer. See, look, look at look at the, the solid black. I go in, see that? I put a little bit more pressure and I'm working it like that. But when you fade, you wanna go lighter. Still working the same thing, just don't be as deep. Just be a little bit lighter. Your hand back off a little bit and it'll automatically be softer. 
just take your time. Right now you're blending it. You want it to be smooth. See, I'm I'm a little bit loose. My rotation is a little bit loose. See, this is what I'm really doing. Because packing is this. When you're fading, you're kind of like this. See these ovals? See the way it is? My hand do it? You can see it leaves a mark of like that. Okay, it's a little bit lighter. See, it goes super dark to mid-tone. I'm doing once again. It's time to get to a lighter tone. Let's clean it off. Give it a good clean. A little fat where all the ink comes out. Let's go to, I did this one, but now we don't have that much space left to do a long drag of another a lighter medium tone, so we're gonna have to go with a light tone. I'm adjusting my bars how I shade. It's not no real rule of what drops next. It's what, how much space you got next. The next, the next part is, I'm only, I'm gonna leave a gap up here because it's a gradient, so I don't I gotta work very, I got small area to fade, so I'm gonna go to my lightest drop, a two drop. And then look, start a little bit back. See, I'm, I'm just working a little bit softer now. I'm, I'm not too, I'm not forcing the needle down. I'm just being very gentle, giving it a little, like this. See that? That's what I'm doing, very light. If you do that very light and you just spread it out evenly, you have a very nice, smooth light tone. Look at this, this tone's coming out. See that? Dark tone, mid tone, and light tone. You're basically just gliding over it? Yeah, you wanna just glide it evenly. The problem with, I see a lot of new uh, new artists do is they shade, so look, look at the sound. When they shade, you can hear them like, they're going down hard and they push and then the next one's soft and they push, so it's like dark patches, light patches, dark patches. And look at that, just cause I did that sound, look at that, it gives a dark patch, light patch. You wanna come in and be in that smooth, like just, your hand's not bouncing on the skin and you're not pushing deep. Cause look, if you push deep, it shows right away. You wanna just spread it out nice and smooth. Hmm. But then look, if I'm like rushing or going fast, you hear it? Like the needle going down a little bit, then boom, you see these splashes. So look at that, so you wanna come back. And look at that. So that's a dark to light tone. And I consider this more my, I say if this is a bar, it's my darker bars. Cause you want to do dark bar, two dark bars next to one light bar. That's how I contrast my, my bars. So some bars I do it really dark and, and the one next to it I do it really dark and the third one I do really light. And then I'll repeat that again pattern or I'll do one dark one and two light one next to each other. You have to mix it up. I can't tell you when to do it. Just do it as you go where you're like, oh shit, I did two dark bars. Next bar gotta be light. And then the next one you're like, that looks good. Let's try it again. And if that pattern looks like it repeats and it looks okay, go to the next bar, change it up. You want your bars to be like in and out. But if you guys wanna learn how to shade and fade smoothly, just start off small. Just give yourself small boxes and learn how to be good in those small boxes and then later remove the box. You can do that anywhere, you know what I mean? Just practice in a small section and perfect it rather than a big space and be sloppy. Say this bar you wanted to do light, like a light gradient. For me, I would say now a light bar, I'll start probably with a four, a four drop, three drop, two drop, and one drop. So now we're working at the very other end of the spectrum. All right, once again, I always start off by bolding the first line. That's pretty much the outline if you were to outline. And just touch it. Make sure it looks nice. See, I took my time and I touched everything. So now you can start pushing up. Don't push up unless until this area is done like that every time. 
because I work like this to straighten it out, right? But sometime when you're tatting them, you're gonna have to do a different angle. The body's different, but right now, I can t twist and turn, so. All right, now that I got that, once again, see that? I'm still working up slowly. Work the edges by turning the mag sideways a little bit. See, I'm already fading it. See that? See that? Nice and smooth. It automatically fades itself. You want to, even though like you're doing this, as you fade up, it has to be soft for you to do the next phase. So right now, look at this. I think I'm good. The four drop is nice. Look at that. Dark mm -hmm. and a four drop. Look, man, this skin is good. <laughs> Let's just go to a three drop now. Dumping sometime one cap with like say this is a three drop and that's a four drop. It doesn't make a big difference, but it makes a difference. See, I'm very softer now. I'm just pretty much being very smooth and flat and just working it slowly. The thing I feel like when you're a new artist, you think that giving it pressure would pack it. It's not the pressure, the needle's doing the job. You just need to guide the needle to do the job. If you add pressure, the needle's just really going deeper than it should. All right, that's a three, it's fair. I'm gonna clean it out, and I'm gonna go to a two now. Still go back a little bit. But remember, when you go back, be light like this. And then, if you need it to be darker, you add a little bit more pressure. If I wanna be darker, look, I'm gonna add a little bit more pressure. And then the next part, I'm gonna add more pressure. Then you can see like how much darker by adding pressure. So if you use a two drop and you add hella pressure down, it's gonna be like a four drop. More ink is going into that skin cell. And let's just clean it off and let's just go all, all the way down to one. One's not gonna do much, but one will definitely smooth powder out all this. Look at that, now you got a light bar. So no matter what you do when you're shading, there's gonna be dark areas. If you do dark areas, make sure it's this dark. Transition to a fade like this. And then you wanna do something in the light area, four drop, something like this, like this dark and fade out. Now that you see the difference, let's use pressure test. I'm gonna show you guys using the pressure of solid black and how many tones can I use with it. I can pretty much use solid black and fade it out dark to light. No no matter what, just by using your hand. I technically don't have to go this much tone. This one would just help me be smoother, but like, let me show you what pressure does. If you want to tap too dark, you want to go in and just like slow, like tight circles. That's dark, you know what I mean? I can clean it up a little bit, and that's dark. And same with the same black, if I went half the pressure, like the depth, you just, if, if that gave you, if that depth made it that dark, if you went in half the pressure, it would give you a medium, right? Think about it. Mm -hmm. So let's give it, go in and give it half the pressure. And look at that, it gave you a medium bar. Now let's go in and do a lighter pressure than that. And now that's a light bar. So now if you ask me which tone, honestly any tone can be a light bar, dark bar with the, with the ink, it's just, your hands now, right? Now you understand like your hand can control the tones. The dark stuff, the dark shading is actually pretty easy. You know what's really tough? The light shading. 
how it's gonna go now. All right, let's see how this new skin is. We're gonna do the same thing. Draw the boxes first. Same size and everything, right? Yeah. All right, this is Alex's box. Not bad, not bad. How's the skin? It feels a lot different than the Amazon one. I think the Amazon one feels very like stiff. Yeah. But this one's like more rubber. really smooth, huh? Yeah, this one's like I don't know. It's different. Which one should I do first? The dark bar. Dark bar first. Dark bar faded up a third of the way. Wiped out. How is it? Is there any gaps? No gaps? It looks pretty good. Alright then. Keep going. Uh, would I change my angle now? No, you or can still push up a little push bit. Up? Just right. make your rotations a little bit wider. Yeah, like that. And just go all the way to the right slowly. Yeah. Don't rush, just same same speed, rotation all the way over. Any gaps that's missing, go ahead and touch it up before you move on. Always touch the gaps. If there's any light spot, use the corner. Touch it up. Good. Opposite end. So every time you want to move forward, just make sure everything is nice and clean before you go forward. So if it looks clean to you, you're ready to keep going. Now that there's more space, you can kind of turn the Mac sideways a little bit, no? Like yeah. 45 degree angle? Yeah and just work it up. Or you can still fade it the same way, whichever way you think works for you. Am I still trying to pack black or uh, you ready for the At this point, fade? you're still a little bit packing, so. You're still trying to pack black right now, so just. Work it a little tighter. Pretty much you're packing right now. Okay. Huh, you see a little line in the middle. See that? Right here? Yeah, because you didn't go back far enough. See what happens, I told you? Mm. It'll fade back a little bit. Get it? Okay. Because you're fading too high, and that's why you get a little gap. That's why I tell you, always go back a little bit and then push up. It's all good, you can touch it up. A little bit better. Yeah. You, but you see, I can yeah, still, yeah. still see a it a little, little bit, bit, just because you, you missed it and you didn't, yeah. Okay. Touch it all up before you move forward. Because you don't want to come back 30 minutes later and you're like, oh shit, you gotta touch that up. It's gonna hurt them. And just go up a little higher. Just keep now do it in a same tone, but give it a little bit of fade now, you know what I mean? So you can have a the mm. a quarter drop come in. See, you're giving it a little bit, see it's house transition. Mm -hmm. You can still be a little bit harder, but give it a little bit more width. Yeah, like see that, how you were. Not too high, tighter, tighten up a little bit, but like that. But you start to see it kind of fade a little bit by itself. Give it a little width. You see that? A little transition? Go back, clean it all up, make it a... Now, clean up everything and go, you can move drops after that. Alright. 
Okay, other corner. Yeah, let's go to the that that's yeah, the six, six drop. Six drop. So go back a little bit farther. You wanna go back where the fading starts. Like right here? Back below that. Yeah, there. So it gives you room to fade through it without giving a gap. Get it? And I'm going, if you start there, that's a little gap right there. I'm going a little lighter? Uh just pack normal. And just fade up. Yep. Just pack it over your back back. And a little bit a bit, little bit lighter, but oh. Yeah, there you go. Move. There you go. Keep going. Make sure you do that, but keep everything nice and even. You don't want to move over fast. You get it? Go over slowly like you're... Yeah, just work it over slowly. Keep pushing it forward. Okay. Touch that corner, good, you're seeing it, I don't have to say it. <clears throat> so you go to, uh, let's have you go to a three drop. Start. So six to a three. Yeah, go to a three drop. I start around yeah, here. Yeah, go back, up. Yep. And same thing, just yes, keep pushing it up. Make sure your rotation is nice and equal every time. Like, same rotation. You're just moving it, yeah. And remember, look at your hand. His, his machine is straight like this. Angle it more. So you want to, yeah, then you push, when, as you push this way, yeah, give it an angle, mm -hmm. it gives a better fade. See, it's, if you give it an angle, it's even smoother for you to whip, right? It's like a pendulum more. Yeah, so give it a more of an angle. You were straight down earlier, just need to give it an angle. See, now with the angle, look at your hand movement, very fluid like. Right? Mm. See? Give it an angle. Do that. Think about that. pretty smooth. Yeah, you were straight down. I saw it earlier. I just didn't want to say nothing to... Now you understand, you know what I mean? Okay, go to one drop. Am I leaving a gap at the top? You are. Okay. One drop ain't gonna do much. Remember, be super flat where it gives no curves, yeah. That's smooth, it's kind of smooth. Not my smooth. No. But it's smooth. Not bad. All right, let's go to have you start with a four drop. Start with the four. Yeah. If you just practice doing these blocks every day and just get used to doing light tone, dark tone, you're gonna be really good. Cause this is, imagine these are just bars. See, at least now your needle's touching the edge, right? See, good. Keep it that same pressure, but now give it a wider stroke. Just by like two millimeter. Move your hand two millimeter. Well, yeah, a little bit wider. There you go. Keep it like that. Do that. Yep, work it like that. 
Because your hand has more movement now. Because some of your movements are a little bit too too stiff. You need a little rotation to it. See how it spreads? Mm -hmm. Yeah, then just go back wherever you think you need to be darker. Just work that area a little bit. See you with the four drop, now that you go lighter, you see the different tones. Mm -hmm. But you still have a little gap right there. You need to make it. The transition's not smooth right there. So figure it out, how are you gonna smooth that? The middle part of that. Mm -hmm. Yep, use the edge of the mag, go ahead and touch that area. Okay, stop. Wipe it. Did it get fixed? A little bit. Then fix it better. and move on. Once it's smooth, keep pushing again with the forward push up higher. You think it's time to go three or you want to push up a little higher? Maybe go three. All right, do it. Yeah. Always try to keep it at everything the same speed. Your rotation, your strokes, same speed. It's just either wider or tighter, that's it. Remember that. Same depth, everything, just, you wanna fade, wider rotation. You wanna pack, darker, tighter rotation. Rotation, that one's kind of a little bit too wide. When it's wide, it lightens everything. You know what I mean? You can always come back and do a little tighter stroke in certain areas to bolt it out. This this skin right here is really good. It almost feels real. It's crazy. This skin? Yeah. <clears throat> it's good to know. And after that smooth, you can go to two and then one. Speed your hand up a little bit in tighter circles. Yeah, like that, and now move around. That's the hand speed I want you to keep. Sometimes you're moving too slow. Yeah, up like that, and if you, if you if you really want to pack, go back a little bit and do tighter circle. No, no, pack. And if you want to be lighter, then you go a little bit wider. And if you want to pack, tighter. You move a little bit faster since it's a one drop. Yeah, like that. A little bit tighter circle. Yeah. Tighten it up a little bit. There you go. And then you can widen it up and tighten it up as you see. I feel like my light bar is like a dark bar now. The light bar is actually pretty hard. So you're doing pretty well. Dark bar is always easier than light bar. But look at mine and look at that. And you just need more practice. I think. But you see how yours look kind of like, look at your transition, kind of warpy. Mm -hmm. Like it's, look at that. I see some, There's like your patches. transitions. That's because you work that area too hard and then you move. Yeah. You want it to be smooth all the way through. Those <clears throat> lines starts because you started there and you went deep and then all of a sudden you went light. You gotta keep the same pressure all around. That's why you see little lines cuts and stuff like that. It's smooth, mm -hmm. but it has those little, if you, has those little dark areas and those dark areas can only get light, darker if you have to fix that. Now that I know that, I'm gonna practice this. Like I feel like I'm trying to chase the line all the way up, but then it's too dark. You know, so. This is your first time? Yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. I like the skin though. It works not bad for this skin. I think you would have been way rougher if you used the other skin. Cause that skin's pretty rough. But like as transition, your darker bars are better, right? So when you're new, your darker bars are, will always be better than your light bars. You want to learn how to shade light bars because you don't want your work to just be all dark. It gives it no transition. You want to incorporate light stuff next to dark stuff. 
and that's how you make your piece pop. Alex is my apprentice, and I'm training him to become a tattoo artist. And we figured, if I'm training him, I might as well make the video too. So that's why we're here late night, we're just grinding, and trying to get him up to speed, and trying to build the channel. If you guys think these videos are helpful, make sure to like this video, leave a comment down below, maybe let us know what you guys want to see next. We'll find out what skin this is. Yeah, we'll and we'll have it in the info, because so far, that last skin that I tattooed, outlined stuff, it felt a little bit cheaper. It did the Compared job. Compared to this. It did the yeah. job, but for someone really new, using a rough skin, their work's only going to be rougher, but this skin's actually gets it really close to human skin. So that's, I was impressed myself. Good shading. Just keep practicing. Mm -hmm. Just keep doing these bars and did you do a hundred of this and that. The moment you learn how to do light bar and dark bar smoothly, dude, you're like so there. Okay. You're yeah. so there. You're so close. That'll be my practice for the week or the next week mm -hmm. too. Let's put some projects together. Uh, I'm going to help Alex with some projects. The next video, I'm going to be drawing free handing a koi fish with background and maybe lotus from the whole thing from scratch. And I'll show you guys how to draw all that because this will be one of Alex's pieces too. Because I'm going to help start helping him draw his sleeve projects. And you guys are more than welcome to join. So keep on watching. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you guys are subscribed. Tell your friends about this channel because we're dropping a lot of info. We're happy to have you guys on this journey. We'll see you guys for the next one. See you guys later. We're out.